Good morning, men and family. Welcome back to the vlog here. And obviously, to start my day off, um, I actually just got home from work not too long ago. And of course, the first thing that person, or should I say family member, to greet me is my boy, Bagara. Say hi. Hi. He's literally like the first family member to greet me, help welcome home when I come home from work or wherever, if I'm from fishing or whatever the case may be. But you're so funny. You know that. You love me. Say yeah. Say I love you. Can you say I love you? Can you say I love you? Okay. I guess not. But regardless, I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. As for me, it's a pretty <laughs> humid one, so I figure we'll go ahead and actually try and just get this day done before uh, the sun goes down because we only got a few hours until I have to go to bed. So regardless, I'm going to try and make this a quick vlog for you guys as soon as I can do it. And uh, let me know in the comments below and tell me how the weather is at your guys' place. Alright, so to start this day off right off the bat, we're going to feed my girl Roxy here. See if she will take for food on camera this time. Because I don't think she did the last time on camera, you guys. I don't know. I don't very often book over the vlog footage when it's on YouTube, to be totally honest with you. So, but regardless though, uh, I'm going to try and see if she'll eat for us. And right off the rip though, she has gotten a little bit bigger, so that's a good sign though. But we're going to try and offer her a little bit of food. She's probably not going to want to take it, but... I gotta get her going here because it's been almost a week since she last ate a meal, so uh, let's just see if she has any interest this time. Alright, sweetheart. You hungry? Come on. Take the food. It's your favorite. I know you like night crawlers. Come on now. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on, honey. Come on, sweetie. I know you like night crawlers. They're night crawlers. You like them. Don't you like night crawlers? Ah, there we go. Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping for, people. She wasn't entirely sure about it, but that's a good sign that she's hungry again. So I'm not going to try and disturb her too much, though. But I'm going to go ahead and try and give her another little piece to see if she's any, take, any interest, take any interest. So let's go ahead and give her another one. Want a second piece? Want a second piece? You took one. Do you want a second one? Come on, honey. Oh, yeah. She wanted more. All right, go ahead, girl. It's all yours. Way to go, sweetheart. <laughs> what a cute little monkey she is. So, yeah, she didn't eat for me a couple times earlier this week, and uh, I was a little concerned, but I decided to go ahead and give it another try today, see if she had any interest, and she finally took it today, so... I am so proud of her, you guys, so, and obviously you can tell she has quite the appetite and a very quick, uh, muscle contractions when it comes to pushing food down already. Look at that, she's already got it down her throat, you guys. And that's because they're only small little pieces of earthworms anyway, but you get the picture, though. It's still really, really cool to see a snake do that, so, here in another few more days, we'll go ahead and offer her some more earthworms and see if she has any interest again, but let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think about my girl Daisy, you guys. Do you think she's a cutie pie, or do you think I should give her a different name? Because, I mean, honestly, my mom seems to like the name Daisy, and I feel like that'd be a perfect name for her, but if you guys have any different name suggestions, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. So I'm making a few arrangements here, people. Um, you guys probably noticed that this empty bin right here is going to be going for something, and of course, um, believe it or not, I am going to be moving my boy Van Halen here who's in this little tub right now because he actually tried to musk all over on me and he's not fully used to being handled compared to the other snakes here so um for now he's just in here for only just a little bit I know but you're frightened I know I know you're frightened but it won't be long until we get him into the rack system here you guys because I think he's just getting a little bit big enough to finally get in here and uh probably too large to also squeeze through the gaps like right in here for example yeah he's a little bit too big now to squeeze through there so as for my girl Daisy here, she, I think, I'm going to try and move her into uh, Van Halen's cage here because obviously she's been in this little tub for so long, you guys, and uh, I feel like it's time to get her into an actual enclosure, so, uh, but regardless, though, uh, I'm going to be pretty, she's probably going to be pretty happy about getting in an actual cage and getting to see more of the surroundings of her area, so, um, let me know in the comments, uh, no, you know what? Don't worry about the comment section at this moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually let this, uh, chemical stuff wear off here in a little bit add some bedding and then we're gonna move Van Halen into the rack system here and uh, hopefully uh, he'll settle down after some time being in there and uh, hopefully he doesn't try to escape now 
out it's time to get my girl Daisy into her new little cage. Come here, sweetie. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt ya. You know me. See, I'm not here to hurt ya. Right, girl? You know me. She's actually more mellow, like I said, than Tyson is, because when I take Tyson out of his cage, she just goes bonkers all over the cage, all over the place, and so far, this girl hasn't really musked a whole lot on me, which is awesome, so, uh, but regardless, she is a little more hostage, so, it's alright, sweetheart, here we go. See, you guys, she's actually a lot more mellow. See, she's not even squirming out of my grip, you guys, and she ate just not too long ago, so... Regardless, though, I'm not gonna mess around with her too much because I don't want to risk her regurgitating her meal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let her go into her little cave and just get some sleep because obviously this kind of stress, though, can be quite hesitant for a little snake like her. So, all right, sweetheart, here you go. Go ahead and explore. It's all yours. Yay! What do you think, sweetie? <laughs> she looks really good in here, honestly. I'm actually glad I got to move her in here, you guys. And now, for those of you guys that are gonna start like commenting and saying that you're doing this way too soon or something like that. Um, sometimes you, we got to take a risk, you know, I mean, I don't do this too often. You guys really, I don't, but yeah, I mean, obviously she can't be in this little bin forever. And obviously I don't have enough cages or enough room in my bedroom here to actually have her own private cage, you know? So I obviously had to move, uh, Van, oh, what's Van Halen doing? Van Halen is trying to find a way to get out, you guys, but, oh, here he comes. He's coming right up. He's thinking I have food, but nope, I don't have any food, bud. Sorry. But like I was saying is, is that um, I had to move Van Halen into the rack system because I feel like maybe it wasn't right for him to be in there, you know. But I mean, for now, he's going to be in this rack system. I think maybe he'll do a little bit better for, for now anyway. But regardless, though, my girl Daisy, I think, is going to really like this cage. So obviously, the setup looks a little bit better than what it used to be before. So regardless, absolutely awesome. So you guys, we had something a little scary happen here not too long ago. And uh, I'm going to take a quick look around and show you guys yeah this all happened just recently not too long ago I'm just kidding you guys it's nothing scary at all we didn't have like a windstorm or anything like that we actually my mom hired a local like little tree uh, uh, like a how do I pronounce it like a tree lumber guy or something like a lumberjack and um, he helped cut down some of the dead trees around here because of the some of the branches and some trees around here like this kind here for example was hanging a little too low so we um, we had no choice but to cut them down and uh, we as you can see there are a few other large trees here like over here that are cut down all that kind of stuff you know and uh, my mom told me she wants me to help her do a little bit of cleaning around this pile here as well this brush pile and maybe like back over here as well and maybe like somewhere back right over there behind that brush there because um we have someone that comes and mows our front yards here um, year round, you know, like during the summer months. So, um, regardless though, uh, just figure out I wanted to let you guys uh, show you guys this. It kind of reminds me of a scene out of a movie or something like out of a windstorm, you know, but it's nothing like nothing like that at all in real life here, you guys. Um, just had a little bit of some tree cutting here, but um, we are going to get that cleaned up and uh, hopefully pretty soon uh, we can actually maybe use that as firewood sometime. But. For now, uh, I gotta slowly take care of it and bring it into a little brush pile in our backyard. Ooh, what do we got here, boys? Ooh, we got guidos. So mom decided to bring home some guidos for dinner, and ooh, that cheese bread looks really good. Spoiler alert, I already had some today, so I'm not hungry right now, but I'm sure either Bagheera or Boo would like to have some. No, probably not Bagheera, but Boo, I can see why, because she literally begged for anything we eat here. If it has something with cheese on it. She literally loves cheese. Doesn't she, Megs? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. She really does love cheese. But Bagheera, though, he just prefers his regular cat food. So, kind of silly. These two cats have two complete different personalities. Especially when he even comes to food, too. So, absolutely kind of goofy, though, in a way. So, but regardless, though. You're so cute, though. Is this where you sit? Do you like to sit here? And you know what's funny, too? When I usually eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, this is the exact chair I sit in, and he likes to sit where I like to usually sit, too, so. He usually, like, whatever has my smell, I guess. I don't know what the deal is on that, but he loves me, really, like, more than anybody here. I forgot to mention to you guys, too, earlier in the vlog today that uh, since it's August 5th, by the time I'm recording this, believe it or not, it is my girl Lucy's birthday today. That's right, it's Lucy's birthday! And... It's hard to believe she was born three years ago on this very day, you guys. Three years ago, and she was just so little, only like four or five inches long. And like I said, born three years ago, so that means she's three years old, obviously, to the to date. And obviously, it's crazy how much she has really grown in size, even though she is a little bit behind on her growth rate because 
her first whole year of her life, she almost never grew, you know, because I fed her so many little bits of earthworms and stuff, and really, I guess she wasn't getting enough nutrients in her to help her start growing, and eventually, almost a, a little over a year later after the day she was born, I managed to get her back on, start eating her, feeding her some pinky mice, and that's when her growth rate all of a sudden just rapidly accelerates. It, it literally accelerated very quickly, so... And since then, she's been crushing food, especially like fuzzy mice, and hopefully we can get her upgrade here shortly into small, like small, a little bit furrier mice, so. But regardless of, she's definitely getting close to that size where she's big enough to start breeding, too, so. Maybe in a couple more years, we'll actually try and pair her up with Van Halen, and who knows, maybe have some cute little baby Van Halens and Lucy someday, like I said. So, I, I could just literally just see it happening, you guys, and uh, hopefully um, by then I'll have a place of my own. But regardless, though, I only could do actually one thing in life at a time here, but absolutely still that's hopefully a dream come true for me personally so uh fingers crossed maybe soon we can actually pair them up both up together what are you doing daisy what are you doing why are you climbing up up the glass you should be climbing up in your plants honey not on the glass it's not where you belong She's literally just starting to come out to explore the cage a little bit, so she's probably a little bit nerve-wracked right now on what is going on around her, but she'll eventually learn that the cage isn't so bad at all. It's actually a bit of a slight bigger improvement for her, so I think the cage will be good for her for at least maybe a year and a half, maybe two years, uh, depending on how quickly she grows and what we feed her, so but regardless, so she really looks really gorgeous in here, and uh, hopefully she really get learns to uh, get used to it and uh, hopefully we can also do a little bit of practice of handling her a lot more too so but regardless she's just absolutely gorgeous though I just I don't know what to say it's just amazing looking looks like Daisy's starting to get a little more curious about looking at her new cage you guys so regardless I know this vlog isn't really as entertaining as many of you probably were hoping for but I really just had to do, the time has came in, it had to be time for her to get a new little enclosure for her, because, like I said, she can't be in a little six-quart tub for the rest of her life. So, finally, she gets a bit of an upgrade, and she, like I said, she, it'll probably be for another year or two for her to be in here, and then we'll have to upgrade her probably to a 10-gallon tank, so, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, here's the video of me unboxing her, and go ahead and check it out, you guys, and let me know on how you guys felt about the unboxing video of her. She was absolutely adorable when I I got her but regardless i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up here if you're new to my channel smash the subscribe button too for me and turn on that notification bell and leave a comment down below and tell me boys and girls what your favorite morph of garter snake is i would like to hear that down below because this video was basically kind of featuring uh a morph of a garter snake so but regardless i love you guys so much i promise you i'll see you guys on the next one